A federal judge here in San Diego ruled last Friday that California's 30 year ban on assault weapons was unconstitutional. The move had gun rights advocates celebrating, and now the state is vowing to undo that ruling. News 8's Kirsten Holmes is live with the local ties to this case that is sending shockwaves throughout the state. Kirsten? Yeah, Marcella and Carlo, the case at the center of this fight is Miller versus Benita. And that Miller is James, or Jim Miller, who is a local attorney and an El Cajon school board member. Now, we talked to his attorney via Zoom, and his attorney says the governor has this case all wrong, and they're willing to fight all the way up to the Supreme Court. Immunity for folks that wax on about public safety, and they sit back passively and say nothing about this outrageous decision, shame on them. What frauds they are. They better remember that it was Reagan himself that led this nation, not just the state of California, in advancing gun safety laws. Strong words from Governor Newsom in his announcement to appeal the assault weapons ban ruling. Meanwhile, John Dillon, who represents John Miller and other plaintiffs in this case, says the judge made the right call. We gave the, the court a, just an absolute uh, vast amount uh, of evidence and factual information. And so this 94 page decision was based on all of that. Dylan and other gun rights advocates we spoke to say they're appalled at the governor's reaction and specifically call out criticism of the Swiss Army knife reference in the ruling. That comparison was the first sentence of the 94 page decision. So everyone who's uh, criticizing that statement clearly didn't keep reading. You can easily configure the, uh, the AR-15 to any sort of use that you want to use it for, whether it be for hunting, self-defense, recreational shooting, competition, or even malicious service. Still, emotions run high as community leaders join the governor's effort to appeal that ruling. It is insulting to read his decision where he called the kind of weapon that killed my son akin to a pocket knife. Dylan says he understands the emotions and sympathizes with victims and families, but maintains the ban on assault weapons in California is unconstitutional. The facts in reality just don't uh, you know, support those types of claims. Tell you this is only the beginning of a long, potentially really long legal battle. In the meantime, the ban on assault weapons in California remains intact. Back to you. Kirsten, people on the ground, 30 years, were people just shocked at how long the law has been here and that only now we're getting it overturned? Yeah, believe it or not, they've been fighting this law for years, and right now they're like, yay, we have a win, but it's only the beginning, like I said, in a legal battle that they know that they're willing to take to the Supreme Court, but they know it's going to be a little bit. All right, Kirsten Holmes reporting live for us. Thank you so much.